Oh, and we are back. And I'm wondering if this is upside down. It is. Ooh. There we go. Now we're right side up. <laughs> I hope you guys didn't get nauseous from that. Okay, let me recenter that. Make some space. Okay, so I kind of thought about it. And if you kind of see this and this are going to be what we kind of play with in our designs. So what I was thinking, right, if you were to make this like a three-dimensional shape, right, there would be these kind of lines. We'd have to do some shading. It was very straight, right? But I kind of want to play with this idea they were talking about with kind of circles, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a nice little curve shape, a nice little curve shape like that, and then I'm going to put my little circles in there. I'm going to keep them going all the way around. I'm going to come up here, do the same thing. And again, right, you can definitely measure. You can really plan out, right? You know, if I wanted to be serious, I would plan out the length and kind of say, okay, this is going to be this. How many can I fit in? Um, I mean, and then the cool thing is, and I'll say it this way, right? Because we have the paper, like the lines on the paper, we can actually kind of use that to our advantage because then we kind of know, like, if you think about it, right, this is a little less than a line. So I can make sure that my next one kind of comes in a little less than a line, but you know, that would be proportions and relationships. So in, in some ways that would be a really good math. You can turn this into a really good math class for your math teachers, not for me. And there we've got our little bands. Um, yeah, I like it. And then what we're going to do, all right, we're just going to go back in. So here, right, we're not going to be able to draw a full circle. We kind of want to imagine where the circle would be. All right. And, you know, I kind of always started the half circle on the left with the little ones, so I'm going to switch it up on this side. And this one, because it's kind of large, let's start in the middle. And go out from there. Yep, that fits the space. And so you kind of see, right? I'm purposely just kind of starting in random places to show you. Uh, you can really start anywhere, right? A circle probably a little bit further down. I can start up here. Or I can start on the sides. Right? It doesn't matter. It's kind of wherever you want to. Where you start is where you were meant to start. 
and boom. And part of the, also kind of go over this idea too, you know, right? It's kind of that diamond shape, jewels, right? So we're gonna probably make this really colorful. So kind of like <clears throat> play on that idea of the fanciness of it. So for this spot, right? I don't know if you remember, we had that one where, let's kind of show you up here, where we kind of did this, you know, these kind of semi half circles here and kind of went around. And then we kind of did that design where it just gets, you know, smaller and smaller and smaller. And, and at the end, it kind of goes super in. And I had a really nice, ugh, really nice pers perspective, that kind of depth, which I kind of think is cool. So thinking about this space, right, we're not gonna be able to finish the pattern, right, because the pattern's gonna get hidden underneath this piece. But I think that kind of adds to the coolness of it, especially because too, if you think of this, right, depending on how we color this in, this might also look kind of layered. So it can kind of playing with that idea of depth, right, which is kind of what we've been doing with this square on top of this square on top of this square, you know, right? So we're kind of layer, layer, layer. And it's just, you know, that's just my thoughts. And all I'm going to do is go, right? Make sure we can fit this all in. And again, right, you could measure these out, kind of coordinate and plan. How you want to do it. I could even keep like, you know, measure the height. If I kept like a, I could, you know, I could draw in like a little line right there to kind of make sure that I don't go past a certain height um, with these little circles here. So, you know, again, right, how you kind of choose to do it is always up to you. Okay, so we've got this all nice and done. Now, the thing is, too, right, uh, I'm not going to touch, so we have to remember that when we did this originally, there's these little kind of like circles, we colored them in, and when we did it, I think I just used a pencil, right, to make them dark, uh, like kind of just black shapes, but what I think, what I kind of think what we might want to do this time around is what I'm going to probably do is color this little section in with one color, and make maybe make this part the outer shell dark um but then maybe use multiple colors right kind of like the idea right we can kind of make it make it really colorful right i mean have fun with it there's no reason not to make it super bright and fancy so we're going to start here and we're just going to go for it
I got totally confused right there. It's like the lines are blending so well that I was like, what? No, I'm honestly just going to. Bam. And so, oh, well, I, I knew we were going to go over, but I just wanted to finish it. So tomorrow, what I think we'll do, and I think we might leave this empty. Thinking of, like, flags, right? I don't know. For some reason, I'm kind of thinking of this as, like, a flag now. So I think we might leave this space empty and just kind of color it in just for the fun of it. So tomorrow, we'll start the inking process, make it nice and bright and poppy in colors. Okay, guys, have a good one. See you tomorrow.